Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Young Sage back in GTA Online for another car review. This is the Lampadati Novak. I tried something different because sometimes YouTubers, like in real car reviews, will stand on the other side of the car, like with the camera on that side. I know Doug DeMiro sometimes does that. Usually this is what Doug does. He usually looks like this. Like, more like this almost, but that's too zoomed out. Anyway, this is based on the Maserati. Hold on, wait a minute. What was it called again? Uh, I came I came unprepared. I came unprepared. Uh, I'm not doing well right now. Maserati Levante. Also, there's a little bit of uh, Alfa Romeo Stelvio in this car as well. Let's open it up. And we're actually, this is going to be our new location for doing for doing the uh, reviews, because we got a parking spot and everything. Let's actually put the lights on, because it is late at night. I actually didn't know you could hold down the touchpad to turn off the interaction menu. As I was saying that. Let's get back into the car and hear that again. This thing sounds really aggressive for good reason. Just look at the engine. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go do it in first person. I don't know, but this might be a newly modeled engine for this vehicle. I want to say it's a six-cylinder, a V6. That probably sounds like a six or, an, or even a, or even like some kind of eight. Set off for Beaker's Garage. And I painstakingly went around the map and I actually found all the signal jammers. It's not worth it for Avi Schwartzman. Because he's actually not as good as Paige. You stick with Paige, but you do get $250,000 just for doing it. So. It's worth getting them all. You get $2,000 a piece, and then you get, you know, you get $150,000, because you get $100,000 extra, or you get $50,000 extra when you complete it. What can it. the best mechanic in LS do for you? I have been driving this vehicle around while I was doing some missions today for the, for the heist. I'm actually probably the only person who's not done the heist yet. So... Sadly, there's actually no standard race diffuser. We're gonna have to do carbon. I, I like how that looks. Come to think of it, it's going. This will get ripped off on Mount Chiliad. <laughs> the lighting in here is not good. Now that's a custom job. Yeah, you can't even see the exhaust. That's gonna let him know. It is very early in the morning, so it would be better if it was like afternoon where the where the sun could be shining in. I like that. It gives it a yeah, you know what I don't actually allow looking at it. I like that better. All right, liveries, we got, we got our normal stripe jobs. We cannot look at the back, though, so... Unfortunately, if there's anything on the back, there's nothing I can show you. 
Lampadati Racing. This one actually looks really good. Mind Mocked, it's just, yeah. And then there's Mind Mocked Painted, which is the same exact thing. Zero Gas always looks good with the right colors. Sprunk. Stronzo. E. Cola. This is like a mess. Burger Shot actually looks pretty cool. We're going to go for the Zero Gas one. And we're going to paint the car white. So primary color changes everything on the car that is not secondary. We're going to go for a probably a frost white. We're going to keep it like a normal. You know what? Yeah, let's go no, let's go for the ice white. It's more of a pure white. What does secondary actually change? The mirrors. Just gonna make those white as well. You know what? We'll make them. We'll make them light blue to more match the the back. If, I don't even think there's a blue that matches. There's actually no blue that matches. Why is there no blue that matches that matches that? You might as well make them white. I thought I could make a really good effect, but there's no baby blue like that. The only thing we don't have is lime green. So we'll make it ice white. And we can't... You know what? Let's make them chrome. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Eh, you know what? Yeah, we'll do it. Because it doesn't interfere. You can have a roof rack or a carbon roof box... We're going to go for none. It's not worth a lot of money. It's literally 20... That's like 200000 less than I paid for it. I want just that in the back. Okay, spoilers. Okay, the, the stock spoilers... That carbon wing with trunk lip. The trunk lips are... You see, right, look right above the Lampadotti logo. Can't really get a good view from this garage. I'm never using this place again. Because there's no good way to get perfect views. I don't like that trunk clip, so we're just going to do a carbon wing for the traction bonus. I kinda want, I'm kind of curious how that will do up Mount Chiliad. Warp speed now. I'm gonna leave the stock wheels. Man, you mean business. We always go for light smoke. Oh, you at least forty percent armor. Oh, it's fast now. Let's actually sit here at the light. I'm gonna wait for it to go red. Go ahead, buddy. Whoa. Oh, you want to race? And go. A lot of wheel spin, as you might expect from GTA, but this this thing is quick. Okay. I said just over two years ago, the, the, the Armored XLS was the best SUV. I was completely wrong. I, cause I've never seen this yet. Holy crap, balls! This thing is faster than a supercar. Oh my god! Barely kept it out of the wall there, but Yeah, you're up in, you're up here, bro. There ain't no beach. Oh yeah, the kind of is, but there's no legal beach up here. I think the beach down there is illegal. So what are my thoughts on the Lampadati Novak? Customization. That's gonna be our first thing to go with. Well, first performance. 
for an SUV, I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. This thing is extremely fast when you upgrade it. I am literally blown away by the speed of this thing. Let's actually take it... You know what? I'm gonna take it back here. Mm. Oopsies. No buff out. But don't forget, in your garage, you get free repairs. I know it's an off-road trail, but... So at least give us an idea of how it performs in the twisties. I can't find any twisty back roads here. This thing is so freaking fast. This thing did a bomb chili ad. <laughs> well, these are these are high these are high end wheels. They're more sporty than off road. Handling is okay, but this is off road, so this is more of a bit of a road, so. It's sketchy, actually. This is a very bad road. Let's just take it on the highway real quick and then we'll see if it's actually that sketchy. I'm gonna get it out of here as soon as I can. So yeah, this thing is not gonna go up Mount Chiliad. This thing is a friggin' monster. This thing will not make Chiliad. This thing's actually probably faster than the 811. And that was fully upgraded too. Stability as for all GTA cars is, is unrealistic. This thing's extremely stable. It doesn't turn very well. I need to probably put some, like, sport tires or something on this. Ow. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is put sports tires on this. I don't think the stock tires can actually handle the speed. Use some of my off-roading skills to be able to get back up on the road here. Drive real slow through the trees here. Are you, I thought we pinged off a mirror. It looked like we did. Holy crap. The Novak is a fast SUV. I'm not even kidding. This thing is a monster. This is too fast almost. Okay, so, yeah, you guys got that. So, performance, I have to knock it for the handling because you really have to slow down and make corners with stock tires. I rate it based on stock tires. So, I have to give it a six, a 7 out of 10 because it's it's dumb fast, but it doesn't give it the stock tires when I have enough grip. I bet if we equip some off-road tires, this we probably could take it up chili ad. I don't think I want to though. This thing is crazy, and it shouldn't be. It should never go anywhere near chili ad. Yeah, this is probably this might be the fastest SUV. I don't know about the new Rebla, but we will test that when I when I get when I get the trade prices. That's why you're not seeing any any Diamond Casino heist vehicles, because I'm waiting for the trade price to be unlocked. And, to unlock, and, and I'm going to reiterate this. So unlock the new trade prices. Complete the... To, do the... I said, almost said Doomsday Heist. Twice. Complete the Gotham Casino Resort Heist. As a leader. Doesn't matter how you do it. I say do it... Do, do the second way first. Because you get a new gun. Yeet! I mean, this is about as crazy as 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 how the as how these cars are. The, both of these vehicles, the the uh, Levante. I keep forgetting the Maserati name. The Levante and, and the Stelvio in in Forza. So this does live up to the name properly. Gotta be really careful. I don't drive into the other activation zone. So then, customization. 
gonna give it a solid seven. Because, I mean, it's not great. It's not terrible. I don't like the spoiler because we have to just put a carbon spoiler on there that I'm really not a fan of. Just get the traction bonus because I don't like any of the spoilers that are available on it. The bumpers are meh. Hood's actually pretty decent. And then the other thing I don't like is, of course, you can't get the zero gas blue that I would like for the mirrors. I mean, there's a way to get it for it with a hex code, but I'm not the crew leader. My crew leader doesn't play on the doesn't play on PS4 anymore, so. I'll rep Led Zeppelin power till I die. <laughs> it's still GTA 6. So that's a look at the top uh, top speed acceleration, all that fun stuff. I'll compare that to the Hellion. Yeah, that tells you this thing's a serious vehicle. This thing is almost full top speed, and that's crazy for an SUV. That's something I've never heard of. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on the Lampadati Novak? A crazy SUV? I mean, inside's really nothing to write home about either. can't really see it in here. I mean, it's better than most SUVs. Yeah, but because I really give you guys a good look at first person in this vehicle. In the location where it's parked, it's quite dark over here. There's only one light that's illuminating this parking pad. Anyway, guys. I don't know what our next video is going to be. I don't know. I actually have legit no idea. Depends on if I, do, if I get the heist done. Or whatever. So I'm going to give you a little look at what I'm, where I'm at on the heist. Yeah, we're still Sage Industries. <laughs> no, I'm no longer... Because I, I was Sage Industries as a, as a biker gang, too. A lot of stuff I gotta do. And I only do these in a private session. I picked the right guy, though. Chester McCoy. This guy he has some really cool vehicles for us to get away in the Zaba. It's basically a friggin' monster tank. <laughs> Obviously, we need our we need to get our gear. We need drills. Apparently, I missed out on something here, so I cannot even do the security intel. We're taking the big con approach. That's how you get the pistol. We need to get masks as well, which I'm probably gonna get everybody from Princess Robot Bubblegum. That's where I'm at on the heist. Anyway, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this this look at the Lampetani Novak SUV in GC Online. Hold on, I'm going to see about something here. I'm going to check the Rebla. I don't think it has a trade price. It does not. 1.175 million. It's actually faster than the Novak on paper. The acceleration's better. So that means this will be a better SUV than the Novak. So until I can drive the Rebla, 
The Novak is the best SUV I've ever driven. Also, I found another vehicle that has a trade price. Also, all the Southern San Andreas Super Autos drip feed cars have trade prices. I didn't realize that Mr. Boss for the Wind put out a trade price video and put a video out for this stuff. Vapidelli, the Wiener Issy Classic. Or no, wait, the LE. Let me see. The Issy Classic is because of the Arena War. This is Diamond Casino Heist. Sentinel Classic has a trade price now. Pretty sure this is a trade price now. Sure is. The Defiler, which is a very strange motorcycle. The Manchez also has one now. Yeah, because I, I was looking through what we did and didn't do. I'll probably get a bunch of cheap off-roaders, and we're going to take them up. We'll take them up, Chiliad. I think we might do the Rumpo Custom. Just because the Rumpo Custom was like such a such a roly poly at at uh when we drove when we drove it. I don't even know if I even took if I even took it around the road with lights. I have to look. Anyhow. Let's have a look see here. We can take the biffed up Chiliad. That's a rear wheel drive car, so it might be bad. It used to be like the best thing in the world. You could sure the Rumpo to be part of off-road. Back when they called it pack. <laughs> take Trevor's Bodie up. You know what? Yeah, we'll take Trevor's Bodie up. This does have customization that you all probably know about. Put it at 142 Plato Boulevard. That's the, that's what's right next door. That's, that's the garage I have next door. Should get the Guardian again, maybe. You know what? I'll do a I'll do a rusty rebel. I think I'm gonna nick one instead of buying it. Now Trevor's Bodie no longer spawns. It used to spawn in a very specific situation, but they actually took I believe they took that out. Yeah, we never took the Camacho up. So that might be my next thing. I definitely want to do the Cara Cara 4x4. We'll grab a Patriot just for the fun of it. I'll nick it off the street because there's a million of those. Everybody drives one. We can only we can nick a dune buggy too. Anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Peace out.